The Five Pillars of Islam. This is the testimony or Shahada which states that there is no God but God and that Muhammad is his messenger. This is one of the first pillars of Islam. There are five pillars or principles that support Islam. Salah or prayer is one of these pillars. It is said that a person can never be a true Muslim unless he or she performs the five daily prayers that Allah has commanded. These prayers are performed at dawn, Fajr, noon, Zahr, mid-afternoon, Asr, sunset, Maghrib, and nightfall, Isha. Before praying, we make Niyah, which is the intention to pray to Allah. In accordance with the practices of the Prophet, peace be upon him, a strict cleansing ritual is performed before prayer, called Wudu. We should not use more water than is necessary. First we wash our hands, face, arms, and finally the feet. All prayers are made facing the direction of the Kaaba in Mecca, no matter where we are in the world. Uh, as a Muslim, uh, practicing the four out of the five pillars of Islam, inshallah I'll do Hajj soon, I'll do the four pillars for now, uh, is something very special to me. Doing the five pillars or the four pillars for me is something above the material world, is something in the metaphysical world, it's something that cannot be um, that cannot be described unless you do it. You will not understand what I say unless you try it. Uh, it is another it's another level of happiness. Giving zakat to the poor or less fortunate is a very big part of Islam. The minimum amount is set at two point five percent of one's annual financial saving. Businesses are also required to pay 2.5% of their annual profits to the needy. The act of giving is to show solidarity with the poor in one's own community. Zakah should be given to nearest needy relatives, neighbors, or for eligible causes in the country where we reside. It is a religious duty to give, and the receiver's right to take. It is believed that the giver will receive ajir, or blessings, these blessings are multiplied during the holy month of Ramadan. Fasting during the month of Ramadan is compulsory for all able Muslims. When a Muslim fasts, he does not eat, drink, smoke, say or do anything wrong. According to the Gregorian calendar, the start of Ramadan is 10 days earlier every year, in line with the Islamic Hijri calendar. Fasting is not only a physical act, but also a purification of the soul. Whilst fasting, we are expected to abstain from all earthly pleasures, from food to water and sex. This is, however, only one component of the fast. The other is strengthening one's spiritual commitment to God. Uh, Ramadan is such an important time for me, perhaps the most important time of the year for me, as it is for all Muslims. It's the time when we fast so we can feel a little bit with the poor and the hungry, it's the time when the Quran was revealed um, to the prophet, to our Prophet, so it's a very a sacred and holy year, uh, sorry, month. Uh, it's the time when our all the family gathers on uh, on uh, the on the ceremony of breaking the fast. So it's a very family-oriented time, uh, and also it's the time when we go to the mosque and pray tarawih, which is a kind of prayer after we break our fast. So the whole society comes together at the mosque uh, to pray. So it's a very nice time socially, spiritually, um, ethically, anything. If you eat or drink anything whilst you're fasting, your fast is broken. But if you do so by mistake, then it is not. The pilgrimage, or Hajj, is the journey to Mecca for all Muslims who are physically and financially able to perform this voyage once in their lifetime. The pilgrimage itself is the final act of directing one's life to God. In Mecca, 
It is the one time where a Muslim stands with his brothers in Islam, with the same will to obey and worship God above everything else. It's a time when Muslims concede all worldly pleasures and refined luxuries, political and social status, and stand as equals before God. Assalamu alaikum. I'm writing this letter to share some of my experiences of Hajj. Somehow I do feel like I have made a greater connection to Allah, Islam, and fellow Muslims. I tell you, it is the most humbling experience. The day I stepped back into the comfort of our home, my heart was filled in its entirety with gratitude for all the blessings that we have. There were days when we spent hours upon hours moving just a few kilometers amidst masses of people. It is so informative with practical lessons to support spiritual theory. And for me personally, it was a deeply moving experience that has helped me to answer so many questions within myself. I don't know how long the influence of the Hajj will last. Somehow worldly matters were so far removed from those seven days in Mecca. However, I hope and pray that my experiences will remain embedded, at the very least, as my conscience, if not in my actions. All five pillars are integral to supporting a Muslim's daily life. A true believer not only fasts and prays, but is someone who has totally surrendered himself or herself to God.